एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट शॉर्ट रन एंड लॉन्ग रन कॉस्ट कर्व्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट शॉर्ट रन कॉस्ट कर्व्स शॉर्ट रन कॉस्ट मेनली डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट टोटल कॉस्ट एवरेज कॉस्ट एंड मार्जिनल कॉस्ट टोटल कॉस्ट इक्वल टू टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट प्लस टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट डज नॉट चेंज इफ यू इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज योर आउटपुट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉस्ट ऑफ रेंट इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स ऑन दिन अदर हैंड टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू चेंज इन प्रोडक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉस्ट ऑफ लेबर कॉस्ट ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल एसेट्रा हेयर इन फर्स्ट कॉलम वी हैव आउटपुट एंड सेकेंड कॉलम वी हैव टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट हेयर यू कैन से अवर आउटपुट इज इंक्रीजिंग बट अवर टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट एट जीरो आउटपुट अवर टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट इज टेन because uh, we have to pay rent interest or property tax no matter we are doing output or not that's why at zero production we have 10 total fixed cost as output is increasing but our total fixed cost remain constant same thing you can see in this diagram on x axis we have output and y axis we have total fixed cost our output is increasing from oq1 to oq2 from oq2 to oq3 but our fixed cost is remain constant of Here you can see our total variable cost. First column we have output. Second column we have total variable cost, which change according to change in production. As zero output, our total variable cost is zero. If we are not doing output, then why we are uh, purchasing raw material or hiring labor? That's why at zero output, total variable cost will remain zero. But as output increasing, total variable cost initially increasing at decreasing rate. But after certain time period, variable cost start increasing at increasing. Rate. But why initially uh, total variable cost increase at decreasing rate? Because we are getting uh, increasing return to variable factor. Our labor are giving more out output. We are receiving more output through our labor. But after certain time period, uh, over utilization of fixed factor start. That's why we are not receiving so much output from our uh, labor, and uh, eventually we are receiving uh, diminishing return to variable factor. That's why after certain time period, our total variable cost uh, increase. is at increasing rate same thing you can see on x axis we have output and y have, uh, y axis we have total variable cost initially our total variable cost increasing at decreasing rate but after a certain time period it start increasing at increasing rate total cost equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost first column we have output second column we have total fixed cost third column we have total variable cost last column we have total cost when we add total fixed cost with the total variable cost it will become equal to total cost in this diagram you can see tfc represent our total fixed cost tvc represent our total variable cost as we earlier discussed tc represent our total cost that is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost that means if you convert this table into diagram you will get this now we are going to talk about average cost average cost is per unit cost For example, six units cost is equal to thirty. Thirty over six is equal to five. Five will be called average cost, or we can say five will be called per unit cost. And we can calculate average cost when we divide total cost with output. Here, T C is uh, total cost, Q is output. When we divide total cost with output, it will become equal to average cost. First column we have output, second column we have total cost, third column we have average cost. when we divide total cost with output it will become equal to average cost in this diagram you can see on x axis we have output and y axis we have average cost this curve represent average cost curve initially you can see our average cost reducing but after certain time period it become constant then start increasing now we will see marginal cost marginal cost means change in total cost after producing one more unit change in total cost after producing one more unit will be called marginal cost for example cost of producing 5 unit is equal to 30 cost of producing 6 unit is 35 35 minus 30 is equal to 5 this 5 will be called change in total cost after producing one more unit or we can say this 5 will be called our marginal cost first column we have output second column we have total cost third column we have marginal cost cost of 1 unit is 10 cost of 2 unit is 
ट्वेंटी माइनस टेन इज इक्वल टू टेन दिस टेन विल बी कॉल्ड अवर मार्जिनल कोस्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ टू यूनिट इज ट्वेंटी एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ थ्री यूनिट इज ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी एट माइनस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू एट दिस एट विल बी कॉल्ड मार्जिनल कॉस्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ थ्री यूनिट इज ट्वेंटी एट कॉस्ट ऑफ फोर यूनिट थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी एट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स दिस सिक्स विल बी कॉल्ड अवर मार्जिनल कॉस्ट सिमिलर वी यू कैन कैलकुलेट फॉर अदर यूनिट इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी एक्स एक्स हुआ आउटपुट एंड वाई एक्स इज हुआ मार्जिनल कॉस्ट एंड दिस कर रिप्रेजेंट मार्जिनल कॉस्ट कर नॉर्मल से लॉन्ग रन एवरेज कॉस्ट कर This LAC, this one represent long run average cost curve. SAC one is short run average cost curve of one plant. SAC two is short run average cost curve of second plant. SAC three is short run average cost curve of third plant. Here you can see we draw long run average cost curve by joining production point of short run average cost curve like A, E, and B. E will be called optimum production point. and oq will be called optimum output because at e point short run average cost curve touches long run average cost curve at its minimum point that's why e will be called optimum production point a is not optimum production point because at a a point short run average cost curve touches long run average cost curve before its minimum point its minimum point is this one but it touches it touches a long run average cost curve before its minimum point that means it still have a, a capacity but it stop doing production before reaching at this minimum point b cannot be optimum level of output point because at this point uh, short run average cost curve touches long run average cost curve after its minimum point minimum point is this one but it touches the long run average cost curve after its minimum point that's why b cannot be optimum production point e is only optimum production point and oq is optimum level of output now we are going to talk about long run and marginal cost this lsc curve represent long run average cost sac 1 sac 2 and sac 3 represent short run average cost curve as we earlier discussed smc1 smc2 and smc3 represent short run marginal cost curve we have three plants here and rp is marginal cost of first plant sq is marginal cost of second plant and tr is marginal cost of third plant here you can see initially our marginal cost is very less but after certain time period it increased but why because initially we are receiving economies of scale because now we are talking about long time period as we know at long time period we receive economies of scale after certain time period our marginal cost increase because now we are receiving this economies of scale when we join all minimum point of short run marginal cost curve we will receive our long run marginal cost curve this lmc represent this one this lmc represent our long run marginal cost curve now we are going to talk about long run total cost curve this curve represent ltc long run total cost and this curve represent short run total cost curve main difference between long run total cost curve and short run cost curve is long run uh, cost curve total cost curve start from zero but short run total cost curve don't start from zero but why because short run uh, total cost include fixed cost which we have to bear even we are not doing any output but at long time period all factor are variable we don't bear any fixed cost that's why long run total cost curve start from zero oq is optimum level of output because at this uh, level you can see short run total cost curve touches long run total cost curve at its minimum point that's why oq amount put output will be called optimum level of output you can see initially long run total cost curve is reducing but after certain time period it start increasing initially long run total cost curve reducing because of economies of scale but after certain time period start increasing because of this economies of scale so this is all about long run and short run cost curve i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care